Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been forever and a year, but I'm back and back with another video. So sit back and enjoy while I talk about painting the houses of New Orleans. <laughs> According to YouTube, I've been gone for about a month and that's not okay, but I'm back and back with promises for new videos every Friday. So I know you're probably wondering and you probably have plenty of questions Kenan, where have you been? Kenan, why haven't you uploaded a video? Well, the answer to that, we can use school as an excuse because it's 2018. But that doesn't mean I haven't been creating artworks while I've been gone. I've actually created a crap ton and you can check that out on my Instagram. The link is in the description down below. Recently, I've been accepted to Laguna College of Art and Design for animation and I cannot wait to start schooling in the fall of 2018. In early March, I flew to Laguna to tour the college, and I was blown away. The college is moments, seconds, <laughs> from the beach. While I was there, I met one of my favorite artists. His name is Wyland, and he paints the wailing walls, and there's actually one in New Orleans that I see every time I go down there. So it was really cool to visit his gallery and I got to meet his mom. So this is a New Orleans French Quarter painting and I decided to paint it on a canvas panel. I was going through my art supplies and I realized I don't need to buy any more art supplies because I counted 21 canvases that are completely blank and have nothing on them. So I decided to take this as an opportunity to advance my skills in acrylic since I rarely ever do those type of paintings. It's funny because I say I don't need to go to the art store anymore, but lo and behold, I was there at least two days ago and I bought some new watercolor paper, new portfolios, and new gouache, which is a medium that acts like acrylic, but it can be controlled with water. I'm still trying to improve my acrylic painting style, so take my techniques with a grain of salt. I know when painting with acrylic, it's good to have a stiff brush because the bristles will be thicker and they can hold the paint better than a watercolor brush. The good thing about acrylic is how versatile it is. You can paint on anything from furniture to wood panels to canvases, you name it, you can paint on it. Acrylics dry way faster than oil paints, which is a huge advantage because oil paints take forever days, even weeks to dry. It's a good idea to have a spray bottle of water to always spray on your acrylics so it slows down the drying time so it's easier to mix and blend your colors. I've been told when using acrylic paint, paint from light to dark. This is a way of saving your materials and making it easier, I guess. But for me, I like to paint dark to light, building my layers up instead of building them down. Let's take my sky for example. When I painted my sky, I made sure I painted the darkest colors first and then layered it with the lighter colors. This gives it a feeling of atmosphere and it looks better in my opinion. But either way is fine, dark to light, light to dark. If you can achieve the look that you're going for, then that's all that matters. For instance, when I use my colored pencils, I always color from dark to light. This gives me the ability to layer my shadows versus drawing dark colors on top of a light color. I have a few ideas of what I want my next projects to be. I know my next video will be Friday the 13th based and probably in gouache. I know I want to do another challenge video because challenge videos are fun and it will probably be with crayons or the left handed challenge. I haven't decided yet. If you guys have any suggestions on what my next video should be, make sure to comment down below and I'll be sure to see it. This painting took a while to complete. I lost the track of hours, but just know it was a very long time. Overall, I'm happy with this painting and I can't wait to create more acrylic paintings. I feel like I'm headed in the right direction of advancing my skills with different mediums and so that's good. New Orleans provides an experience like no other. It's such a unique city from the designs of the houses to the way they're painted to the atmosphere. Everything around New Orleans is so unique. It's like one big festival when you're there and you never want to leave.
I'm pretty sure this is my longest YouTube video I've ever posted. It's roughly almost 7 minutes. And if you stuck around this long, thank you. I hope this video entertained you or maybe even you learned a few tips and techniques. You can see a full image of my New Orleans painting on my Instagram which is again down below in the description along with information about this painting and if you're interested in the music that was used in the video you can find that information there too. Well, we reached the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to LCSS, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week with a new video. Bye.